way too late. Uh. Hey guys, it's Sugar Anthony, and I'm back with another video. So today, as you can see by the title, you are being called higher. God is calling you higher. And if you tapped on the video, it wasn't a coincidence. Answer the call. Now, hi. How do you know you're being called higher? I'm going to start off like that. My perspective on how do I know I'm being called higher? And I'm pretty sure God is putting through multiple people on why they're being called higher. Now, if you are drained on the inside and don't know what's wrong, you don't understand why you feel so sad. Why do you feel hurt? Why do you feel lost? And don't try to blame it on nobody else. It ain't nobody else's problem. Because when you go to them, you try to blame it on them. It don't add up. It won't add up. I mean, why? You want me to tell you why it won't add up? Because you are being called higher. God is trying to show you something spiritually. You need to pray for discernment so you can identify what is going on here. You are being called higher. He's trying to bless you. But in order to bless you, you have to go through a storm. And the storm, it's going to be storms all the time. People go through stuff all the time. But they don't give God the glory, you know? So when you're going through something, people don't normally look at it the positive way. But when you are being called the higher, you have to look the positive way. You are drained. You are tired. You're not tired of work. You're just tired on the inside and you don't even know why. God is shaking you up and saying, wake up. I need you. I'm calling you to do something for me. And you will get blessed. You will get blessed. He need his glory, but you will be blessed. And the more you walk with him, the more you will feel his spirit. You will understand the cause. You will understand the fight. You know, you're going to go through stuff all the time. That's normal. You want to know why? Because there is a God and there's an enemy. God wants you to win. The enemy don't. So, answer the call. Do not blame it on nobody else. Do not say it's this person, that person. I'm tired of this person. I'm Nope. You are spiritually being called higher. Now, how you answer the call? Um, it's in a prayer. God, yes. I'm saying yes to this. God, I'm saying yes to the call. God, show me how to answer this call. Pray for discernment. In my old video... I don't know which video it was because I posted a lot of videos. But I was giving you guys a word. Discernment is, a, is look it up. I'm not going to tell you guys again. Pray for it. I hope you have it. You can hear God and you can hear the enemy. Anyway, when God's calling you higher, do not run away from it. People tend to run. Do not run backwards. Do not try to go the easy route because that's all you know. Do not lean on your own understanding. God's understanding is totally different from yours. You will never understand God. You want to know why? Because he's so good. He's so good. He don't think like us. He knows what you're thinking. But when he's calling you higher, it's something way bigger than what you think. Do not go backwards. Go forward. If you're going to struggle by going, by going forward, he's with you. You need to trust in the Lord that he is with you the whole entire time. He will be with you. If you don't... This is how you know you don't trust in him when you're going backwards. You know what backwards look like. You're trying to take the easy route. Honey, you can't take the easy route. God's not calling you to take the easy route. He's calling you to go the hard route because he's trying to make you, he's trying to put you on top. God wants you on top. He don't want you to go the easy route because the easy route is going to keep you in that rut. It's going to keep you in the past you. It's going to keep you in the present you. He wants you to be the called you. He wants you to be the called you. Don't take the easy route. Answer the call. Because whatever he has in store for you, 
trust me it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be worth the little storm that you're going through because the storm gonna look tiny every time you you pass the next test or accept the call and you get in the spirit you start to understand this test not even that bad this fight not even that bad this storm not even that bad accept the call don't go to what you know stop leaning on your own understanding trust in the lord is what he says trust in the lord sorry because i got notes right here um where was it where was i Be more receiving of God. Be more receiving of the Holy Spirit. Mm, prayers, God's word, humble, submission to God. Be submissive. Submit to God. Submit to him. Say yes to the core. Yo, real talk, you can't run away from him. You can't run away from him. He created you. He knew you before you were born. Why would you run away from somebody who loved you before you were even born? Come on now. Don't run. Don't run away from the storm. Put the armor on of God and trust in him. The enemy can't win. He will not win. He will not win. You shall never be defeated. Come on. You are the victory. <laughs> what he said? He said, you are the victory. Divorce the control. You don't have all the control. You can do what you can. If God's telling you to be still, be still. Even if it looks ugly. Even if the situation looks like there's no outcome. You have to believe and have the faith and the hope and trust that he can pull you out of the situation. He can pull you out. You just need to have the faith. God, I trust in you. God, I'm homeless. God, I'm going to be homeless. God, I don't have the money. Lord, I don't have this. God, I don't have that. And you surrender those emotions and give him the control and surrender everything that you're going through. I guarantee he will work it out is what he's trying to say. I will work it out. Trust in him. Mm, change your ways how your ways are set change them humble yourself get out of the ways that you are used to you have to be receiving of the holy spirit receiving of god mm. whatever you don't do with or face with this season that he's trying to show you it will show up next season do not deny it if he's showing you something that you need to face, past trauma, things that you that, that are secret sins, you need to repent and turn away from it. Give it up. He's calling you higher. You have to answer the call. Why are you running? You can't run. You can't go any but any far. You can't go but so far. Mm. You're in a committed relationship with the current you. Be receiving of him. Because if you are receiving, you will be open to anything that he has in store. Even the storms that he has. Because guess what? He will get the glory, but you will get the blessing. He's calling you on. He's calling you higher because you are his child. You are something. You are precious to him. Why do you think he will leave you stranded? You're not, he loves all his children equally. Why would he sit there and leave you stranded? Serve your purpose. Accept the call so you can understand your purpose. You wasn't just made for what you what the enemy is putting in your head. That's not it. That is not it. Identify which one are you. Are you the past you? Are you the present you? Are you the called you? Now, if you know that you're not the called you, the person that God needs you to be and you're walking on this earth to serve your purpose, if you're not being that, stay true to yourself and face the fact that you aren't being the person he wants you to be. 
God, help me be the person that you want me to be. Mm. I don't want to say it wrong. Philippians or Phil Philippians. I don't know. Philippians. <laughs> Philippians 419. But my God shall support all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He will supply all of your needs. When you start turning to him about every little situation, even the tiniest things show how much faith you have in him. Answer the call. You can't live that life forever. It will get tiring. Trust me. I've been there. Answer the call. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this word, God. I thank you for the word that you put on me to give to your people, God. I thank you for giving me the gifts that you have placed onto my lap, God. I pray that you just cover us in the midst of the fight and the storms, God. I pray that they receive you and we receive you in a way that we can't deny you, God. Thank you for this word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.